Hello and welcome to another vlog. Um, excuse my exterior. <laughs> it's been a rough couple. Oh, I don't know anymore. We don't go the same places that we used to. Just starting to fingers crossed come out of a long migraine period. Uh, I thought I might as well start this. It is a Thursday, but we only have six and a half days, I want to say, to read most of my TBR for March. So to say that I left it late is a bit of a... No, but we're fine. But it's not that bad. So to catch you up, have started reading Nevermore. I am enjoying it. I don't have too many thoughts yet. It's easy to listen. I did actually try to listen to it before better one time, but I just, I just zoomed out and I can't remember anything, so I'm gonna be putting it back. But um, I've mainly listened to the audiobook and I'm, I would say I'm about 50 pages in here. I haven't had a lot of chance to go back and read more of that. A big theme, big theme. So what else we need to read? We need to read Die, which I'm very excited about and it might, I might start maybe tomorrow. I feel like I've read something. Oh, yeah. I was like, that can be it. I've definitely read something. I have read um, the one and I finished it. I've not run it by through Copile, which I might just do now because um, there's enough like days now that it passed. But I, I enjoyed it. I think it was maybe a bit too long for what it was. And I was also a little bit surprised by the end or the lack of, I guess. Not really. Like... And retrospectively, things wrapped up enough. Uh, but at the point when I was reading it, I was a little bit taken aback. But that also might be because I was reading it through a Kindle and I didn't see that um, it actually ended sooner than it looked like because there was like other extra stuff at the back. So when the percentage wise, it showed that I still have 10% left, but it was not true, it was a lie. <laughs> but yeah, the next thing that I'm reading is the Evelyn Hardcastle. And for this, Sorry, Logan just came back. So I'm actually here, so it's not too bad. It's uh, page 148. I think I read up to 40, no, 120 in the uh, weekend reading sprints. And then yesterday I had another like 28 pages or something read before bed, which is not too bad at all. So I think I'm gonna be continuing with that today. Uh, thoughts and feelings. It started out a little bit rough because it's quite descriptive for my normal taste. Um, it definitely doesn't make a lot of sense currently, as bit, but that's because we're kind of supposed to put the pieces together. I can I can recognize when those pieces enter and I realize that this is probably a detail that will be important later on, but not just now. Um, I don't know, it, it will so highly <laughs> um, depend on the payback after this um i have seen very this is our uh, this is our patreon read for march so i have to definitely prioritize this because the live stream is on sunday so we need to get this read but there's been a very very mixed pot of opinions on this one so far that i've seen it which makes for a very interesting discussion for us to have i've been doing that thing where i read and listen at the same time so i will not do anything else while listening but i listen at a much higher speed than i would normally listen if i'm not reading but i set it to like match my reading speed or even be a little bit faster so i cannot start daydreaming and it's been working so well i mean i've, I've already spoken about this i feel but it's been a very good for me for me in my reading um i feel like i got more out of my reading time that way because i just have too busy of a brain i just that's my thing i start getting distracted very very easily i'm probably gonna continue with this we'll see what we think but this is basically uh about the murder of evelyn hardcastle um was actually Evelyn, if we're believing the audiobook pronunciation, but I just say Evelyn, I don't know, it just sounds better to me. Us as a character, we wake up in a different host every day and we try to solve it. Um, so, so far, it's definitely not fast moving, I will say that. So I am undecided, but I am intrigued. I'm not, I'm not hating it by any means and I do kind of want to continue, so that's a good, good point. This is about an, I want to say 11 year old, 12 year old? Eight year old? I'm not sure, a girl. <laughs> is born into a wealthy family, however, she's on the list of the cursed children who will die on even something. 
I can't remember. There's a particular date where they, all of the kids are supposed to die. Um, however, obviously, she won't. <laughs> but the kids on this list are basically treated as, like, absolutely bad omens. And um, so anyone... Is, so everyone's kind of avoiding them and putting their bad luck on them. And then her father has to, like, pay them off. And anyway, other kids get offers from patrons, I guess, I guess to... Uh, go and learn under them. I'm not quite sure to be honest. It's definitely not confusing I'm sound I'm making it sound like it's confusing. I'm just not sure exactly what the system there is but anyway Morgan goes to the ceremony and actually gets some bids and gets some offers and uh, She's very confused because obviously she's supposed to you know perish soon. So why would they offer her? Someone will take and whisk her away and then we're gonna go somewhere. So that's what I'm kind of at so again no spoilers even possible because I'm just here. And so far it's really good. The audiobook is very, very nice, I will say. So, but that's you caught up. Welcome to the new vlog. I'm not sure if there's anything else that's happening that's fun here, but that's where we at. Cool. <laughs> Hello. I'm actually on the um, Reading Sprints live currently with... currently? <laughs> with AJ, Cody, and Aaron. Sorry, AJ moved and I was then thinking, oh no, do I not unmute myself? <laughs> but anyway, um, I wanted to also update you on um, what I'm reading. So I actually have read a little bit yesterday and then a little bit today, and I'm currently on a page 256. So what I was basically saying online as well is that it's nice and I enjoy it when I read it, but I'm so confused now. I feel like I'm just more and more confused rather than like starting to piece stuff together. So I don't know. I really don't know. There's people that I actually can tell apart and uh, nothing so far. Like I didn't get any crumbs of satisfaction of putting things together. So that that is not my favorite type of m murder mystery thing. I'm sure that we're gonna like, maybe this is one of those books that you reread a second time and then you can piece it together much better. Possibly, but I don't reread books pretty much never so that's not the type of book that I personally like so I don't know this is again as I said will definitely just depend on how I like it later, so I guess we'll see but Let's get reading Hello, morning. Um, so it's Saturday. Uh, it was a productive reading day yesterday, I'd say, and uh, I have a productive day, hopefully also accompanied by reading today. So let me plop you. To update you on the Evelyn Hardcastle, I am currently on page 332. Really need to finish this today at some point, so we're gonna hi Zeus. He's in a tunnel, um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of that at some point today. But I know, I know I should just be reading that, but I started Die, which is also not like go die in a ditch. It's actually like a singular of dice, um, but an interesting choice, and I love it. If you miss the stream, I, I absolutely, I love it. It's so beautiful, it's so moody and it's so like depressive and it's it's all of the things that I like. It's basically like a D&D Jumanji curse adventure. Six teenagers started playing and then got sucked in into the game then fast forward literally fast forward we don't know what happened they cannot tell us what but only five return out of three and then 30 years later there are 40 somethings and uh, a missing die appears and they get back into the game. Very excited. I've only read the first issue in the volume, but I got so hyped. I've not been so hyped in years. So I think I'm actually gonna start with this today, even though I have so many things to do. I need to edit a video and upload a video for uh, Patreons, the exclusive Patreon video thing. Then I need to um, finish this, most importantly, or at least get close to finishing. Like I do have some time tomorrow as well. Um, we had some appointments this weekend by actually um, 
we cancel them so it's all fine and then I also really really need to start patreon mail prep because everything is here now so I can do that so very very busy day ahead but I do have the audiobook for that so I can hopefully put it like slower than I was obviously reading and listening at the same time put it on a slower pace put that on and as I can do some stuff whilst listening to that obviously not editing that wouldn't work but it's kind of disappointing I think to me is a little bit disappointing it this needed to be shorter I'm here and I still have like pretty much no answers like pretty much no answers and that's just too much 332 pages is too much I enjoy and I love the aspects that I said that I love you know the Groundhog Day and everything like that but um it's just not enough if I'm just sat there blind not given any type of little satisfaction clues that put together and I start piecing stuff together it's just not like that and I said in the stream as well that it reminds me a little bit of Agatha Christie's and then there were none and apparently the author really likes that so obviously this is the style that they prefer it's just not my preference which is totally fine it's a bit sad isn't it <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna continue with this just now Logan's making some food for us and uh and I'll let you know if this actually holds up to my expectations or if this is like gonna crush me because I got very excited. <laughs> we'll see. We don't go the same places that we used to. Hi, it is Sunday, so I look gonna feel a little bit rough, so don't mind me. But um, I have finished Die. And I don't know if I actually mentioned that yesterday or not, but if I haven't. Um, I really enjoyed it. There are some bits that I was like not sure how I feel about but overall I think I am really excited to see where we go from here. All the previous <laughs> thoughts kind of stay where they were even though this as I said like this kind of like RPG Jumanji situation. Um, I think there's so much focus on their human side and tragedy um, and I like when we <laughs> explore that kind of stuff so it is a big thumbs up from me. I don't know if it's gonna be quite like five stars, but I don't really, I don't mind that much with comments. Like the, the my ratings don't mean as much, I feel, but it's definitely towards like four or five. So it's a very high um, rating and I really love it. So I have that live stream today for, for Evelyn Hardcastle. So I thought I'm gonna actually put a face mask on because I've not had one in literal months. <laughs> That's really odd. So I should put one on um and crack on i definitely basically need to finish this in the next couple of hours so this is what i'm gonna do i was just saying to logan that in a true like procrastinators way i've um decided to sort my sheet masks uh, according to the expiration date so um decided to go with this animal one which i always think is gonna look terrifying on the face so um I was kind of thinking it will be like that. It's uh, This is supposed to be Dalmatian, but it literally looks like mold. Tell me it doesn't look like mold. It looks like mold. It looks like mold. <laughs> Could be both. A moldy Dalmatian. <laughs> I'm at page 424 and things are finally starting to make sense. Um, still have a bunch to go, but it's better. But I don't think this is going to be a hit. <laughs> Friday which is technically Saturday but it's well no it's technically Friday but it feels like a Saturday <clears throat> um, today is a bank holiday so I don't have to work Thank God. it's currently almost 10 o'clock I have cleared out <laughs> this is quite funny though I have uh, looked for my thyroid medication somewhere because I didn't I was not um, prepared and I didn't get my prescription done before the bank holidays so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna if that like went by and got passed through to the pharmacy so I was sure that I had some somewhere cleared out all of my like the drawer by my bedside table um and then I went into the medicine drawer so that was a hoot <laughs> but um it's actually good because I went and looked through the expiration dates and I cleared stuff out so so we good. I've been. I feel productive. I feel good. Um, I'm gonna eat something, I think, 
or actually I'm gonna go for a walk, then eat something, clean the bathtub, clean the shower, either have a bath or a shower <laughs> or both, then do my hair because it's very bad and it really needs sorting, do some video planning for tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be a filming day we're hoping in this household that tomorrow's gonna be a filming day. Then we're gonna try and speed read, and by that I mean just normally read, but read it today, uh, Nevermore. I think that's the plan. The thing is, it has been a couple days since I spoke to you, and I don't actually remember what I update you on and what I did it. I'll delete this bit if I did, but I finished Evelyn Hardcastle. I ran it now, since then I ran it through Copile with the Moonies when we had the live stream to talk about the book. There was so much to talk about, which I loved. Um, we went into like a little bit of philosophical topics. Of there was a lot of unknown still in the book and I think the general consensus was that it was a little bit too long for what it was. It was a little bit too convoluted and a little bit too draggy. I don't think there was as much excitement as it could have been if it was shortened and also just sprinkled in some reveals throughout. Um, at least that's how I personally felt. It came out as a three star. Um, I don't regret reading it, but I didn't have the best time reading it either. So it's an interesting one. However, I will say I had like a very good time in the live stream and we had so much to talk about. I more to talk about than any other books that we read, I want to say, which was really good. So, um, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> it's not a new favorite. But if you did love it, I think this is a book that would be amazing to reread. Amazing. And then I finished Die and I really liked it. I've already put the second one into my list for when I can unban myself from buying the books, but I'm very, very excited to continue with that. I actually really liked it. Like, I also got a package, and I think this is from my wish list because I didn't order anything. This is from Marina, thank you. You mentioned that you want to read this book. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, thank you so much. And that's Amari, another middle grade that's supposed to be also very magic schoolish. Um, people have been raving about it and loving it. And also look, this version, but this version has like, like glittery edges. How cool. This is also about a girl who whose brother goes missing, no one will talk about it, his mysterious job holds a clue. So when she's invited for a trial at the Bureau of Supernatural Affairs, Amari is certain this is her chance to save him. But first she has to get her head around the new world of the Bureau, where mermaids, aliens, and magic magicians are real, and her roommate is a were dragon. Amari must comp compete for a spot against kids who've known this world their whole lives and with an evil magician threatening the whole supernatural war, Amari has never felt more alone. But if she doesn't pass the three trials, she may never find out who what happened to Quentin. Um, that sounds really cool. Not only is it a magic school, there's also like a tournament. So it's two of my favorite <laughs> setting elements. Um, it sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Marina, for gifting this to me. Ooh fun underneath the jacket is like holographic i'm back from the walk got myself flowers so that's pretty i'm about to go sort my hair and then hopefully i can do some reading and i was listening to the audiobook of nevermore as well i'm currently just about to finish chapter 10. i don't know where that is in the book but i will check because i am doing some patreon uh reading sprints so i'm continue physically I think. I don't even think I'm gonna do... I might do a combo but I think I might just try to do it physically because I think I would enjoy the book a little bit more because the narrator is great but also really exaggerates the whimsy of the book and the whimsy I think is my least favorite part of it. Don't hate me. <laughs> but as I said, I do have a little unboxing. Alice from Onwe got in touch. Onwe is a black woman-led UK publishing house that works on amplifying diverse voices. And they had this campaign for the dream country. And the way that they pitched it as well was amazing. Um, let me actually find them, but so I don't get it wrong. The book centers around the high stakes sibling rivalry between the gods of sleep, dreams, and nightmares in a world inspired by various world mythologies from Kenya, Brazil, Caribbean, and Greece. And I think that sounds amazing. So they sent the package. Um, they did say that there are some of the boxes available. If they're still available, I'll link it down below. I'll link their website down below of course, and also I will link this book from their website down below too. So if you think it sounds good, please give it a look-see. Okay, so um, 
I think this might be slightly better because this is a big box. <laughs> so fancy. We don't really get like um, kind of like PR packages for the books, or at least I don't get it <laughs> here in UK. So this is so fancy. Oh, and it's so heavy actually. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. It has a ribbon. I get excited over packaging. <laughs> Oops. Oh no! Oh, there was a lot of glitter. Oh no. We have the arc of the book, and on the other side it says a sibling rivalry to fuel your worst nightmares. Triplets got gods of sleep, dreams, and nightmares, suspects in their own mother's murder, separated by deadly gates of horn and ivory. But what happens when the gates collapse? I mean it sounds so cool. Ooh, a little a little stamped letter that's a letter from the author if you want to read it it comes in these like really fancy bags as well oh we got some lavender because sleep makes sense you have like cotton inside so it's like you're reaching it into a cloud we have a rest pillow mist with some um with some info and then the card for what everything is i like the packaging as well very stylish we have the that says doze on it cute <laughs> oh no i thought it was the bath bomb but it's actually like a what are you cloud snowball keychain then this which says bath salts okay this is beautiful and i think these are like artwork cards from the book and some info on the other side it's really cool <gasps> this is a moon lamp <laughs> keychain Wait, that's so cool. How do I... Oh, you have to put like some um, small batteries in here. We have a tea strainer. Oh, then we have the candle. Oh, that smells so good. Lavender, chamomile, violet, sandalwood, and palo santo. That smells so good. There's some info on dreams and cultural um, history. And as suspected, herbal tea for lucid dreaming. I love that. A scroll. The map. In here. Oh. Oh, this is cool. And okay, and I think last but not least is this journal. Like full on a journal. Uh, it's called Doing from Dreams to Reality. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Like it's an actual journal. Like there's these pages inside as well. So it's like a proper housekeeper and it's super lightweight it doesn't look like like it's super lightweight and like velvety i love that well thank you so much for sending me this as i said i will link it down below so you can see what is up um and check that out but it sounds really cool and i love this package it's so thoughtful i'm gonna go tidy up and prepare i think for some reading uh, we don't go the same places that we used to good morning <laughs> I was on the live stream and I went to bed at like 1 o'clock and then I couldn't fall asleep until like 2 a.m. It's currently only 10 past 9 on a Saturday, so I'm gonna call it a win. I'm out of bed, granted still in the pajamas. Pajamas being Christmas ones. I really need a new pair. <laughs> Update. I'm here currently on page 219. Um, so I started the sprints on like two, 150, like 78 pages, 79 pages. Um, we did like two sprints and then talked a lot, <laughs> which is not gonna surprise anyone. Um, my sprints are very chatty, very, very chatty, uh, because I, as a person, am pretty chatty. <laughs> like 150 pages to go, um, but I, but I can't read now because I need to prep for the You Recommend YA video, um, and then I'm gonna be maybe listening to the audiobook when I'm doing my makeup. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Nothing. It's very whimsical, which again is not usually a big hit with me. Um, but it's also super homey and it's very cute. It is adorable with the friendships and uh, um, it's, you know, light and fun in parts and it deals with like... Uh, other topics that are less light and fun. I think it ha it's a wonderful book. I can understand how people love it. I'm just not super intrigued. Like, I am not... Or this is why I'm, like, I've 
waited so long to try another middle grade. I just don't think this is definitely something I'm gonna be reading from time to time, but no gravity towards. I just don't feel the intrigue. I don't care that much. Wait, it's by no means bad or anything. It's probably like three starish now, which I know is gonna upset so many of you. And I'm so sorry, but I mean, things could still happen. And you know, it's the first book. Maybe I will read the next ones. I don't know. Well, depends on how we go. I don't know. What are you doing, Momo? Can I help you? <laughs> So I'm gonna go and prep that video now, and um, I would really like to finish this before... <laughs> so, I think I'm gonna continue and... <laughs> I think I'm gonna... Con oh my god. I'm glad that I'm like up now, and it's not too late yet, and I can start prepping, because I was hoping to prep yesterday, but I didn't, so... Let's go. Hello. Right, so... <laughs> it's, uh... How long has that been there? Has that been there since- oh no, was that in the video? <laughs> oh, whatever. It's too late now. Um, it's actually- what's the time? Late. I don't even know. It's a seven. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. All I've done was like film and I was like really struggling at one point because I really wanted to just like do the stuff <laughs> and the neighbors downstairs just decided to have like a little outside party and like it was so loud and I couldn't film and I was so struggling with the energy because of like I, can't, I don't have my thyroxine medication so so I'm just really like sluggish and like gravity is real strong today but yeah other than that I didn't do anything it took me so long to film especially that first video the TP hour that was actually quicker that I did just now now I just really want to like chill and eat that's the update the TP avatar went well you have already it's probably already available when I'm posting yeah it's gonna be we don't go the same places that we used hello it's Monday. I was kind of planning on posting this vlog today. It didn't pan out. It didn't pan out. But uh, that's just life with chronic illness. You don't know what every day is gonna be like and you can pretty much never plan, which is horrible for someone who's a planner at heart. But it is what it is. Yesterday my migraines began and today was an extremely dark mental like mentally dark day. Um, sometimes the migraines hit just way harder in all the aspects. So yesterday I was just kind of, I don't even know what I did, nothing. What did I do? Like literally nothing, but not in a good way, like not in a relaxing way. Um, and then today I spent most of, I spent half of it crying <laughs> and um, just feeling very sorry for myself and very, very depressed. But and then the other half of it, literally the other half of it, was spent editing a video that's gonna be up on the 8th. It had a deadline and it had, and it's one that like takes forever to edit. Um, it's one of the you recommend stuff and those videos take so long for me personally um, to edit. So anyway, I edited that and uh, submitted it for review and thankfully I actually got approved and I don't even need to like make changes and re-upload it. So that's amazing, very happy. But it's six, like quarter past six, and I feel so much better. I feel so much better um, in every aspect. Um, not great with the head yet, but just currently at the per at this particular moment, I'm feeling much better. So try to make some risotto. We don't actually have everything we normally want for the risotto, but it's fine. Logan pre-cooked some chicken, so I don't have to. Then we have the risotto rice. We have leeks and we have mushrooms. So this is gonna be a mushroom leek chicken risotto. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And I was thinking I can listen more to Nevermore uh, while I do this. And hopefully, even though I wanted obviously to finish this book a couple of days ago, I would really like to finish it today. I'm currently here. I literally have, oh, it's actually quite a bit. Thought it was less. 74, oh God, I thought it was weird. This is like almost 400 pages. It's big for middle grade. Um, so yeah, apparently I have 70 something pages. Um, so I'm gonna put an audiobook, I think, while I cook. Hopefully that's gonna get like a bunch. And it's since it's a risotto, I'm gonna be pouring and like staring and pouring and staring. So that's 
a good thing to have while I'm cooking. I still don't care. I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I just really don't care. I just, uh, not very intrigued, but it's like not a lot of left. So I just want to get it done and dust it. But a lot of you said that the second one is much better because there's obviously a school involved. So I don't know. Maybe I'll continue. Who knows? Well, I kind of turned this evening around a little bit, or the day. We had a bunch of strawberries that really needed to be used, like they're on like their last day. Um, so I just washed them up. And then we had some chocolate in the fridge, so I put it in the microwave and it burned on the bottom and started smoking everywhere. I don't know how the smoke alarm didn't go off. I think it's probably expired, like it needs to be changed, like the battery, <laughs> but that's all good. Was sad momentarily, but then remember that I had chocolate chips. Um, so I just melted those and, and had some strawberries with chocolate. Thought I'll treat myself and uh, watch some Sims 4 YouTubers. <laughs> but also, I have finally finished this. And actually, in the last 70 pages, I enjoyed it the most out of like any and all <laughs> of the of the book. Um, so I think I might actually be continuing. I don't know. I quite enjoyed the last 70 pages, so turning everything around, apparently. Don't know how to feel yet. Um, probably gonna be three stars, but not two, so A. <laughs> I will say there's probably, you know, quite a few similarities with a certain some other <laughs> middle grade that I grew up with, but um, obviously there's differences too, but there is definitely similar. I can see why people compare. I maybe even wish it was a less similar because I can't stop comparing, but then I do. I also do feel for all the middle grade writers because I feel like it's probably very common. But anyway, I enjoyed the, the last little kick. Um, and now it's eight o'clock. I work tomorrow. Today is also the last tax day of the year. So even though this doesn't sound fun and I, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that it is, but I think it will be good for me if I just manage to just sort my taxes, get all of the documents in order, and actually maybe even submit it because that would be quite nice. A different kind of self-care, like taking care of yourself in the future. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that and uh, that's probably gonna be it. So next, next week I can go ahead and start with the next TBR and we're probably gonna also film Logan's TBR author. If you wanna see that, it will be on the next one. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay awesome, stay kind, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Let your hand